Hi everybody. Hi guys, Misty and Sherry here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Welcome to or welcome back to our channel. Many of you know and some of you don't that Misty was in a car accident. It warranted her and her daughter to go to the hospital in an ambulance. She's still not feeling a hundred percent. But thank goodness we have some videos that we've pre-recorded. We, there's a lot of editing we have to do. We're trying to keep um, something rolling on YouTube for you guys. We really appreciate you hanging in there and watching. And Misty has some yeah. things to tell you today. So yeah, as mom said, thank you guys so much for your patience with us. Um, we are going to, I think we have enough footage, as mom said, we um, were kind of ahead of the game this time. We have some big shows coming up. So we've been, um, prior to the accident, we were going on a little vacation up to the lake when the accident happened. Um, so prior to that, we were working um, daily. Pretty much on, nonstop. Yeah, <laughs> on projects, and we were filming as we went, so we do have, a lot of video footage to put together some videos for you. We do need to film some intros, but um, oh, I'm trying oh. to work on that. Of course, Mr. Oh. Stubbs has to be the center of attention. And Poppy's even getting in on the In bark, so um, <laughs> bear with us, guys. But um, yeah, so I think we've got enough oh. until I start feeling up for really working and building and painting. I think we've got enough footage that we can do about three videos a week for you guys for a few weeks anyway. Um, so what we're going to do today is um, our intro. Here we are. And then um, we're going to show you something that um, we, transformed. We, we transformed. And then um, we are actually going to finish a project for you on film today and then I'll put it all together so you'll see start to finish what we've done. Um, some of you remember that have seen our hauls that we hauled these two beautiful finials with a shelf on them. They were black and gold, very dated, very early 90s. Um, we have transformed it and there are just some beautiful things going on here. We have some green patina. We have some gold shining through. We have some pearlescent. Um, it's just, I wish you could see it in person. I hope the camera's doing it justice. It is really pretty. It's something that I would keep and use in my home. We have um, my beautiful granddaughter videoing for us today. She's showing you a close up of this. And Misty and I, did not do a tutorial on this because there are so many steps to this process. Um, we aged it, we have some um, aging dust on it. We use some patina powders. Um, we may actually put up a video and a DIY if you'd like to achieve this look. We'll just see what the feedback is. Um, We've done several other videos that we're going to share with you on some really cute projects that we are going to sell at our vintage market coming up. And I'm going to let Misty take it from here. Well, as far as the technique on these finial shelves, um, as mom said, it is a multi-step, multi-product um, tutorial process. and process. <laughs> So what we're thinking is, um, when I'm feeling better, we're going to sit down and film step by step. It will be a longer tutorial because, as I just said, it's multiple uh, steps and um, materials. And what we're thinking we're going to do is um, we'll put it up on our website. It will be a tutorial that will be for sale on our website. It will. It's not going to be some expensive video to purchase it will be um, for a small fee but that way the people that really want to learn the technique and, and want it. to spend the time to watch step by step uh, will be able to do so so um, that may be something coming up uh, down further down the road we are going to stage these um, and show you in better lighting um, 
what exactly they look like and hopefully you'll be able to see all the detail and the, the different finishes on it. And um, we're also, we'll insert a before, like a before and after picture of those. But today we're gonna be um, finishing up some really fun, they're these wooden kind of like stacking blocks that we found at a thrift store. All of the grunt work has basically been done. We previously filmed that. So we are going to um, finish them off for you uh, today. We're gonna go inside and do that. And then you guys will see everything all put together. And thank you for joining us, everybody. I want to thank everybody, too, for all of their wonderful comments. For those of you that follow us over on Facebook, some of you knew about the accident. It was only posted on my personal page. I did do a post in uh, on the community page in YouTube just so everyone would know kind of why we were um, MIA before I posted the home tour that was also a previously shot video. And so many of you have reached out with so many amazing comments, well wishes, prayers, and we really appreciate every one of you. And I will, I promise, get to responding to all of those as well as all the wonderful comments on my home tour. Thank you guys, I really appreciate all of your love and support. Okay everybody, let's get creating. Let's get to it. <laughs> We've got these little blocks that we picked up at the thrift store and they're stacking blocks and I have another one. They were in one of our videos. Yeah, they were in a haul video. So what we're doing, I've got this one all painted out in black and we're gonna go over it with white and then distress it back so a little bit of the black shows through. And then we're going to put some images on all sides of the blocks. So they'll be interchangeable. And this one, I've started painting. So we're just working on doing these. Uh, the two white ones we're gonna go over with black and then as I said, this black one we're gonna go over with white and then distress it back so that some black will show through. Hi everybody. Okay guys, so we're gonna show you our blocks. They're right here. There's three stacking blocks and they're in different sizes. And our idea, we want, these are gonna kinda go in the farmhouse section of our booth. We do a little farmhouse, a little kind of shabby chic, boho kind of a feel. Um, we tend to keep our colors kind of soft um, at our shows. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our farmhouse transfers from Chalk Couture. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put a different transfer on each side of the block so that they can be uh, turned or flipped for different images. Misty and I did a video using these same farmhouse animals. Um, she'll link it in the box below. She also, I mentioned, did a whole set of dishes with these. And it is in one of her home tours. I so think she'll also is. link that in the description box below because... With these things, you guys, the sky's the limit. You can do so much, and they're so fun and detailed, and when they're done, it is boutique quality. And it's very quick and easy. So what we're going to do is um, move the camera. I am going to show you guys. So here's our top block. You can see that it's black and distressed back just to show a little bit of white. And then we have our... Oh, Misty's kind of hidden behind the block. <laughs> our white one here. That's probably good since I don't have any makeup on today. And um, this is the white one. And then we have the base. This one here. So um, we're going to start adding the transfers. We're going to show you guys how we do that. We're probably not going to film... Um, every single transfer being put on to each block just because once you guys see it you'll get the gist of how you do it and um, we'll go from there and then we'll come in and show you the finished product so um, we're going to get started here we're gonna move the camera a little bit so that you guys can see uh, what we're doing 
and um, we'll get it done. Okay guys, so we have our first transfer placed on our block. We're gonna do the white one for you on camera and then we'll, same technique and procedure for the two black ones and then we'll show you at the end. So I'm gonna have to turn this and we're gonna move the camera again so you can Watch see, the process. see the image as we do the process. We're going to use our um, black uh, Ch uh, chalk Couture ink, sorry guys, my brain isn't functioning today, and our white Chalk Couture ink. They have a paste and an ink. The paste is removable, so you can uh, wash it off and have it be temporary, or that you can use the ink and the ink is permanent. So we're going to use the ink today because we want these to be permanent. And we're going to be sealing these also after they dry. Yeah, we'll seal it at the end with a spray oh. polycrylic. It's okay. It's all right. All right, guys, bear with us. We don't have the tripod today, so Mom's going to hold this up over the image so you guys can see it. I've got my um, black Chalk Couture ink on my um, squeegee, and I'm just going to start pulling the ink down over the image. you got to love this process. It's just a no-brainer, and everything is so easy. We've used these transfers over and over again, as we've said before. You just wash them. Just take good care of them. They say 50 to 100 uses, but I swear we've we've used them <laughs> more than that. Yeah, especially this farmhouse set. I mean, we've really put it to the test. Misty made a set of eight. Dish, this set of eight, she did bowls, plates, coffee mugs salad plates salad plates we did this on a chalkboard we've done Key tons of signs we did a DIY on lots of signs I'm just taking the um, excess off now with the squeegee save every drop of ink you can get set that aside and now for the magic. As soon as Misty pulls this, I'm going to stop the camera just so I can go wash the stencil. And voila, there's our cow. Let me turn this around, Mom, so it's facing the right way for them. Again, the detail is just incredible. So we're going to wash up that stencil and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so a little change of plan. What we're going to do is we're going to do one image on each of the blocks so we can kind of show you where we're going with this. And then we will do all the rest of the images off camera and come back and show you the finished um, project. So this is our top block, and we want this home sweet home on the front here. And like we said, these are interchangeable, so um, it could be turned around to have a different image depending on how you stack them. So I'm going to, I've got my white um, Chalk Couture ink on my uh, rubber spatula, and I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the cow and start covering my letters. Just kind of scraping some of the excess from over here and bringing it over. You want to use up every little bit that you can. Add a little bit more here. Well, Misty's doing this. We want to thank each and every one of you that have purchased Chalk Couture from our link. Thank you, thank you so much. And if any of you are interested in purchasing any of their transfers, we will put their link, our link, in the description box below. I'm just adding some more ink onto my little spatula here
Okay, we're gonna scrape the excess and keep every drop. Of I that think chunk. I got most of the excess off because I kept trying. You don't to... want to leave a lot in there because when you pick it off, pick it up. That screen will leave a big blob if you don't squeegee it off for a while. Yeah, or a little ridge on your image. So. Oh, I love that one. So pretty. Okay guys, so this is our bottom block and we've got this cute pig placed. And again, we're just going to use our white ink and we're gonna just start covering our image. find this very relaxing well and instant gratification too which is so I think nice a little bit off the transfer but no big we'll probably oh, be able to yep. wipe it off That's that way how. we can show you guys how you fix that it's easy Oop, I got a little bit of a ridge hang on let me wipe this excess on off. material you definitely don't want to make this yeah because there's no erasing it then but we've been pretty fortunate we've waxed these cubes we forgot to tell you that and that's also in our other video where you can actually see. Hey, hey, Rye, we're filming. Sorry, this is real life. <laughs> the little smudge at the bottom is actually in the transfer itself. It's supposed to look vintage. It's we don't know yeah. what it's supposed to represent. I don't like it, but so I'm wiping that it off. off too. <laughs> Usually we don't silk screen that part of this. So we're going to cut away. We'll be back with the rag to show you the cleanup. Okay, guys, this rag looks gross, but it is clean. It's just a work rag that we use. And I'm going to wipe. Don't rub hard. And I'm going to come back with the clean part of the rag and, and clean that little smear up. It's just a bubbly little chalk. Just getting the, the biggest of it off. Voila, gone. And almost gone. So this video, this whole process of these three images took less than 15 minutes. Like Misty said, instant gratification. We're gonna stack them and show you how beautiful. Okay guys, so we just kinda of wanna give you an idea of how this is gonna look. We still need to go and add our transfers to the other sides of the block, but this is this is kinda of what, what we were going for with this. What do you guys think? Goes in my kitchen, in my <laughs> dining area, my kitchen. These are my colors. Mom's already wanting to keep these. So <laughs> we're going to finish doing the images off camera and we'll come back and show you how it all looks and close this video out. Alrighty guys, we have finished our stacking blocks and staged them. And of course, now that we're filming, the wind's going to blow. So um, mom's going to talk a little bit about these and we're going to kind of walk around and show you all of um, the designs we put on the sides of these. Okay everybody, this really didn't take any time at all. Like I said, the first three that we put on, less than 15 minutes. The whole thing maybe an hour because we had to heat set every transfer. But I want to show you what we did because if you're not in the mood for home sweet home, how about Farm Sweet Farm? Love and it. We have a cow. We have this, which you could do something like that. Kitchen clothes, this heifer's had it. Wicked chickens lay deviled eggs. And they don't have to be straight or straight on. You could cock it. But at every angle on any given day, when you're tired of what you've been seeing, we've done a cute transfer with our truck couture. I absolutely love these. I think these are so fun and what a fun trash to treasure from these ugly chipped up blocks we found at the thrift store into something really cute and functional for your and home. And of course we've taken things from my home 
to set up this cute vignette. So, like I said earlier, these really would work well. <laughs> Can't tell. In my kitchen. Mom's no. really angling to keep these guys. I really wouldn't keep them. But cheap, quality dry goods, and a pig. Oh, did I show you the black sheep wool? Black sheep wool was out first. Oh, okay. so, so, yeah. Pig. Let's do pig chicken. And farm sweet farm. So you really can't get too bored with these, <laughs> is my concept. And this little table they're sitting on is not done yet. That's coming. We'll do the reveal on it, plus some really darling stools that we have that go with this. So I think that pretty much winds it up for today. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this trash to treasure and DIY tutorial. We hope you'll check back with us again soon as we will have more videos coming up of some of the other projects that we have created and finished for our upcoming events. Again, thank you guys so much for your patience. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here on our channel and you'd like to follow us on our creative journey, please hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time we upload a new video. You can also follow us over on Facebook and Instagram. We are Queen Bees Vintage over there as well, spelt the same way as it is here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.